Hello everyone, this is YouTube Buddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about for each loop. This is a very important and most useful loop in real time scenario. But the use of it is really very easy. First, we will take a look on the syntax of for each loop. In for each loop, we will use the arrow function which makes the code much cleaner. We have already discussed about arrow function in our previous videos. If you are not aware of that, please watch the video on arrow function in the same tutorial series. For each loop starts with the collection of object name, after that dot for each and then a pair of parentheses. Inside parentheses, element after that fat arrow syntax or simply arrow syntax and then within curly braces we need to put the codes to execute. Now we will write for each loop over array 1. We have written a very simple code with for each loop. array 1 dot for each and after that inside parenthesis element. This element will carry the value of the objects which are there in the array. Please take a special note here. For each loop always traverse over the value of the object similar to for of loop inside calibrases we are printing that element value in the console now we will discuss how this code actually gets executed when execution comes in line number 7 it takes the first element of array 1 that is 10 and it simply prints that 10 value in the console and then it comes back again in the line number 7 now it takes the second element that is 20 and it prints in the console. The loop will be continued until it completes the execution for the last object of that array. Now if we save and execute our code, we should see 10, 20 and 30 printed in the integrated terminal. After execution we got our expected output. Now if we run the same loop over array 2. What will be the output for this? This will print A E I O U in the integrated terminal. We will save and execute. You can see after execution we got our expected output here. This is the overall concept of for each loop. This is really very easy and the most useful loop in application. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, bye bye. Take care.